Hey, what's up, guys? It's Mondo82. Hey, I'm doing a video on the uh, eighth order, uh, explain just on uh, how you know it's supposed to be built. Um, eighth order is almost like a six order with an additional port. That's really like the only difference. And then you got the uh, chamber size in between uh, the two chambers. Um, basically, it's um, two chambers, and then you have a port um, in the baffle. In between the two chambers um, basically um, like I said it's two chambers uh, for an example just say if you build um, one chamber at five cubic feet all right you got to build the other chamber at um, at two or two point five cubic feet so basically uh, one chamber has to be at five cubic feet then the other one has to be half of that all right uh, each port has to be uh, it's like and this is just numbers if you know just for a, a recommended spec and just some example that i'm giving you guys not something that you actually have to do um the port has to be like 12 cubic inches each one has to be 12 cubic inch or 12.5 cubic inches it's, it, it works at different sizes for the spl and uh and a daily and a 12.5 cubic inches for like daily and eight cubic inches is for like spl um and with both of those uh, ports for the chambers, uh, you may want to tune those to like one. You can probably tune one to um, what, since you know, low bangers, you can tune it to like 29, then tune the other one to like 32 or something like that. Um, and then you have that third port that is in basically the, that port is where the baffle is at, and that's in between the two chambers. And that specific port works as a, a air restrictor. Uh, which uh, it stops the resonance from the uh, speaker, which restricts the airflow. That's basically what that chamber does. And that's what creates the higher frequencies, like the, the 50 hertz and the 60 hertz. Um, and I think the biggest downfall, well, I won't say the downfall, but the reason why people don't do A4 is because of the size of the box that has to be built with that. You know, uh, especially if you're trying to do 15s and 18s, it's going to be, Personally, I think it's going to be hard to get that thing down perfect to a T if you got 18 inch sub that requires like um, some of them maybe like 3.5 to 4 cubic feet of uh, airspace if you're doing ported per one. Um, I'm not saying it's not possible, but you have to be on point. Um, but basically, uh, with the eight footer, like I say, uh, you have two chambers. Uh, one is 5 cubic feet. That's chamber one. Chamber two needs to be at 2.5 cubic feet, which is half of the first one. Both of the ports has to be the same size. All right. You can tune them different however you want it. And, you know, that's up to you. And that third port, like I said, acts, it, it, it's uh, basically a restrictor for air. It lowers the resonance of some shit like that. And that's what creates the higher frequencies. And... With that being said, with that, make sure that you um, make sure you have like a, a curved baffle, or a, a smooth baffle, so you won't be getting port noise. So that's another thing you guys need to worry about if you decide you want to do an A order. Um, also, I like I say with A order, if if I were to do an A order, I'll use tens or twelves just so I know I'll have the space to make something. If I do a box that big, I wouldn't use fifteens or eighteens. It'll be tens or twelves you know just for the space just so you know that you had a space to do it when it's needed um let me see that's really basically that's really like the basics of building a for this i mean it's basically just like a six or the only difference is is um you have that third port which is in between both of the chambers which acts as a restrictor for air that's the only difference and like i said you have to get all them specs down to that right and I think you tune that third port to like 50 hertz or some, some shit like that. I mean, it's, it works out, but, you know, difference or the good thing with the eighth order, it it has the benefits of a fourth order and the benefits of a sixth order or and a ported box. I mean, it, the wide range of frequencies is, is even wider. Uh, you just have to build it right. So you guys got any more questions about the eighth order? Just uh, hit me up.